Good morning. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. Malacanang welcomes the order of Communist Party of the Philippines founder Zoma Sison to observe its own unilateral ceasefire in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. In a statement, Presidential Spokesperson Salvador Panelo brands as a positive development Sison's recommendation to the New People's Army. The United Nations earlier called for an immediate global ceasefire to help virus-stricken countries to respond to the crisis. The truce will begin at 12 a.m. on March 26 and will last until 11.59 p.m. on April 15. President Duterte once again appeals to the public to stay at home as the country scrambles to contain the COVID-19 spread. In a taped address to the nation last night, the president renewed his call for public cooperation amid the health crisis. He also assured the public that help will come in form of food, water, and other basic needs. Latest data from DOH show that COVID-19 cases in the country are now at 552. Deaths climbed to 35 on Tuesday, while recoveries are now at 20. I repeat, stay home. Wag matigas ang ulo. The outcome of this war depends largely on you as well. I also call on relevant agencies to ensure the speedy delivery of basic medical supplies and equipments to health facilities. From the approval, importation, and the delivery, everything must go smoothly to make sure that we do not waste time. Supplies of food, water, and other essentials will be provided to you throughout this ordeal. Financial assistance will also be extended, especially to those in the margins and the vulnerable groups. Halo silahat ho makatanggap. The World Health Organization warns that the United States could be the next epicenter of COVID-19. WHO pointed out the very large acceleration in the number of infections in the country. The highly contagious respiratory virus has infected more than 50,000 Americans. Death cases remain while reached almost 700. Despite the possible outlook, WHO commended the aggressive precautionary measures of the U.S., particularly by testing. China is lifting all travel restrictions in Hubei province, province in China, effective today except in the city of Wuhan where the novel coronavirus was first reported. The Health Commission for China said that travel restrictions for Wuhan will be lifted on April 8. However, schools in the whole province will remain closed until further notice. The decision was made after days of no reported local transmission. Yesterday, 78 new cases were reported, all of which were from overseas. In total, China has more than 81,000 COVID-19 cases, almost 3,000 who died, while more than 73,000 patients recovered. Close to 400 volunteers from the fashion industry have committed to creating personal protective equipment for the country's health workers and other frontliners. London-based Filipino designer Mitch Dulce, who leads the initiative, calls for donations of materials such as water-repellent fabric for reusable protective suits. Dulce says they will soon be posting more details about the PPEs. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine here in Luzon. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Joby Francisco. We are One News.